Hi everyone, Dave Smith with Render Smith Photography here. Today I want to talk about some different lighting setups that you can use when you're doing your portraits. Now we understand that a lot of you may not have a studio to shoot in. You may be shooting in a typical living room. So that's why we're doing this video here in this living room. I want to show you that you can transform a typical living room into a studio. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to first talk about the lighting. Okay? What we're going to set up is the clamshell lighting. Now with clamshell, what it does is it gives the light that falls upon your model a very even look to it. Okay? It's not dramatic on one side or the other. It's a very nice, flattering, even light. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our strobes here, and we have these uh, set up with soft boxes. Now soft boxes are great when you're dealing with portraits, simply because the light is very directable. You can point it right at where you want it to be, and that's where it's going to go. It's also diffused very nicely. In other words, it's going to give it a nice, soft light. It kind of wraps around your model. We like soft boxes better than umbrellas because when you use umbrellas, the light has a tendency of scattering. It's not very direct, and it's a little bit harsher. Okay? Umbrellas are okay. Use them if you like, but we like uh, the soft boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up now in a typical clamshell. We're going to take our first light and we're going to bring it right over here. And we're going to turn it on. We're going to bring our second light. And what we want to do is we want to keep it equal distance, the light, to where your model is going to be. Both lights should be equal distance. They should also be equal in height. Okay? So we're going to adjust this like this. And we'll turn this one on. And this area right in between here, this is where you're going to be shooting through. So your model is going to be over there. What you could do is you can put a backdrop down. Black one, white one, colored, seamless paper, material, whichever you have. You can put that up there, put where your model is going to either be sitting or standing, set your lights, and what you're going to do is you're going to come right in here, and this is where you're going to be shooting from. As I said, when you set your lights up, Make sure in the beginning that they are both set at equal intensity. Take your shot, look at it. If you like it, go with it. You can also, if you wish, manipulate it a little bit. You might want to turn one of the light's intensity down a little bit to make that side of the face a little bit more in shadow than the other side. Take a shot of that, see how it looks. You're the master when it comes to the lights. You can make it do what you want it to do and get the look that you want. So, this is our clip, typical clamshell. What we're going to do is you're going to see a couple of shots coming up right now that show how the clamshell light looks. Stick around. We're going to have some more lighting tips for you real soon. Thank you. 